since TikTok and you guys fucking ratted me out, I gotta find a new location to get away from my family for an hour or two. Uh, tell her I'm undercoating the pool deck. And I got a couple screws loose. Right. Cheers. I followed you up the road and you made a U-turn on a double yellow line and that is illegal. Uh, so what is illegal? U-turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I just please clear this up, please? Yes. So after I turn... Yes. You change. Yes. So that is illegal. And if I was here, I would write myself a ticket. And then I'll just go home and think about what you did tonight. You know. Who are you taking selfies for? Mind your business. Who are you taking selfies for? Mind your business. Fine, whatever. Seriously though, but why have we been getting so many UPS packages? Oh, come on! He's cute! Are you serious? Is is there anybody you don't think is cute? Um, your brother? Oh, my brother. You don't think my brother's cute? We're twins! Psst. I bet you won't chug this beer and do a backflip. to shut down all negativity and frankly not give a shit what others say and think. You want to know what the 10 most dangerous words in the English language are? What will other people say and what will other people think? You're the only person who needs to be okay with how you live your life. You could be hated by everyone and if you're okay with your actions and behavior, you'll be content. At the same time, you could be loved and adored by every damn person on the planet. But if you're not okay with how you've lived your life, you'll go to bed with emptiness. The losers we discussed earlier, there'll never be a shortage of them. People who throw hate your way because of how you live your life, and there'll never be a shortage of people who want to see you fail. So the key is to just do you. Do what makes you happy and do what you think is right. At the end of the day, if you and you alone can look yourself in the mirror and be content with the choices you've made, then that's all that matters. Okay, so I just showed these ignorant assholes how to do this yesterday, and here I am again today doing it again. back from a fire call and I guess when I walked across the street my dog wanted to race me back because here she comes yeah she beat me by sliding about 30 something feet to get at the garden hose 135 days ago I stood up for the first time after being crushed by a tree today I'm walking I remember when I couldn't even get off the floor and my OT had to pick me up and throw me back into bed when I got onto the floor for the first time. 
Never, ever, ever give up and don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. <laughs> Check it. I want to start a new trend. All right. I'm going to call it the TikTok bomb. Okay. Next time Sophia's in doing a TikTok, I'm going to jump out and scare the fuck out of her. All How's right, that? bet. Yeah. yeah. Say that to drafts. All right, bet. Hey, let's go. She's doing a TikTok. Go to the back door and hide. All right. Make another one, but be quiet when you're in the room. Okay. Oh. Oh. Sick of you! 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 Sick so I saw a TikTok today that was like, if your lips don't match the audio, then you need to try harder. But I got 11 people in this house. I got two clothes washers and two dryers for 11 people worth of clothes. I got seven of these to clean. Look how much toilet paper they use. I got nine bedrooms to keep messy. I got 6,300 square feet of this to try to keep clean. We got so many dirty dishes. We got two dishwashers. So much food. We got not two, but three fridges. Y'all think I got time to do two takes? I do this crap once. That's it. He's ready for some basic dad stuff. Today we're in the garage. Want a cool garage organization tip? When you use containers to put everything away, just put one layer of stuff down first, inside the container. Now here's the magic part. Use your phone to take a picture of that layer. Then add another layer of stuff on top of that and take another picture. When the container's full, you'll probably have two or three pictures. Label the bin and then create an album on your phone with that same number. Now just move those pictures you just took to that album. Then just do that for all your bins. When it comes time to find stuff that's in one of those bins, all you have to do is go through your photo album and find it. You'll know the exact bin that it's in. And that's basic dad stuff. So I could see the disappointment on their faces as we were walking up to do the job. So when I first started my landscaping company, I only had a car and a trailer. So when I would go do estimates, I'd park way down the street. So that this way the person couldn't see what kind of vehicle I was driving. And then in a couple weeks, whenever we came back to do the job and we were pulling up and I had that crappy car and trailer, you could just see it all over their face. Oh my God, what do we get ourselves into? And I knew at that point there was nothing I could say that would put them at ease. I just knew we had to do an amazing job. So I had one employee, we both knew what we were doing, and we would work so hard to make the job as perfect as possible. And about halfway through, you could see the whole demeanor change. They'd be coming out and giving us lunch and drinks. They were so happy things were turning out okay because the, the company didn't look good from the outside looking in. But the work we did was amazing. And that's how we our reputation grew so quickly because people were just so happy that the job came out okay, they started recommending us to all their friends.